I hope it gave you with a thunder or bravo. So YouTube is like a, a documentary of my life. Welcome to my channel where we have lots of fun and exploring to do. <laughs> channel if you are new here my name is anukoye i'm a youtuber currently based in uk Girl, that feels weird to say. today's video i'm doing a q and a or get to know me question and answer just personal and random stuff about myself because i've never really done that on this page on my youtube and i don't know why so welcome to my channel <laughs> send a q and a on my instagram but I just got one question which is from <laughs> someone I know he asked if I'll marry him you know I'll marry you if the ring is coming with a tundra or brabus you know like <laughs> if you marry me you should just engage you with a tundra or brabus I think brabus bra I think that's the name of my new dream car first off my full name is Ogochuku Anukui, Ogochuku my first name and my middle name, Anukui my last name. I am, I'm 25. I turned 25 this year. And you know, I used to say I'll have my first child at 25. At 25, I'm not even engaged yet. You know when you can always say, oh, I'm married. <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> Do you know how I plan my life? I wanted to be married at 23, 24. Well, let me just say 24. Let's be married at 24. I wanted to have my first child at 25, and then my second child at 26, 27. I also have two children. Two children. <laughs> 26, 27. She gets. But the genders, I don't know anything God gives me. I love, I love anything because it's a human being after all. So, but yeah, that was how I planned my life. Two children, 25, 27, and I'm done. Then we'll grow together. But where are we? We're still here. But the next question is how many siblings do I have? Um, I'm the first of four. We are four. We are four in my family. I'm the first. Next question is where am I from? I'm from Anambra State. Yes, I'm an Igbo girl. Next question is where am I from? I'm from Anambra State. Yes, I'm an Igbo girl. Njikoka local government. The next one is my occupation. So I used to be a makeup artist before I came here. And I loved, loved doing makeup. So currently I'm a care assistant in the UK here. And I can't lie, I used to think I would hate it because prior to coming here, people were like, ah, oh, stressful job is this, that. So far, so far, oh, my earring fell. So far, I like the job because I don't know, I'm, did I say I'm an empath? I'm very, I'm an empathetic person. And my dad, my, my dad passed from stroke. So I think something about being able to take care of people that can no longer take care of themselves resonates with me for oh, my religion i'm a christian yeah i'm a christian i grew up in a christian home with a christian father christian mother christian everything so the next question here is um how i feel about packing up and living my life and everything i had if you don't know i had a studio i had a makeup studio in calabar like a full makeup studio in calabar i still have my makeup shop for products which is still running up and running because it that one can survive without me but you know when you have a skill if you have a skill you are your skill so your skill can survive without you but i have in i had a makeup studio and you know i just packed up and left nigeria currently i'd say so far so good yeah so far so good because there's no way you go to new and you won't struggle a bit you won't struggle a bit i don't have so much struggle because i have really nice people here that like you know made things a lot more easier for me so i, I wouldn't say uh, my struggles has been so much but then being someone that is very dependent on my family and then my close friends and you know leaving them and going far away i'm very very dependent on my family in calabar i was living with my younger brother you get i wanted to get my own place but that was uh, initial gra gra i wanted them to beg me i'm very very dependent on my family 
Like if I have it's more inconvenience, I'm going to my mother, I'm going to our house, I'm going to my sisters. <laughs> Because it was someone that was like that. Now, like, I can't go to my mother. The highest you can do is call Jiget. I was, I was very dependent. I'm very, very dependent on my family. So, you know, packing up and leaving, like, came with a lot of mental struggle and stress. You know, my family, my family, my family. But so far, it's... I'm um, alive. That's just it. <laughs> of our life and you know, I can't wait to like settle in fully and start exploring because I'm like a mini dollar dollar number of things. I'm like a mini Dora the Explorer. <laughs> I love experiences. I love seeing new things. I love go I will still start a series safe. Maybe the name will be London see london as a tourist or you know see london through my eyes just something like that you know go everywhere i would love to go since i'm here already why not just explore it explore it next question is my year so far so far my year has been nice and i'll say blessed like i feel blessed I try as much as possible to you know to always look on the bright side, be grateful and all of that. But minus that, I am, I feel very blessed actually. Like grateful for a whole lot of things I could achieve this year. If for nothing, I I came here this year. <laughs> I located from Nigeria this year. So that alone is like um a blessing on its own. My hair is the hardest thing about leaving Nigeria. So the hardest thing about living in Nigeria for me is my family. Like my family. My ideal engagement. I don't know. Funny enough, eh, I've always wanted to um get married. I I love um I'm, I'm I'm a lover girl to the city. I'm a lover to the hour. I'm a lover girl to the hour. <laughs> I am such a lover girl, like I'm that kind of person. I love love. I love things that make you oh I love emotion. I'm a very emotional person. So I just love all those things. But I've never like really pictured my engagement. You get I don't know how to explain it. Like you know how people sit down and plan their weddings in their head, even when they are not married yet. The only thing I know that I would do is like, you know, because I'm a makeup artist, I wouldn't go low on, you know, my makeup, my hair. That's just it. If you ask me my dream wedding guy now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So my ideal engagement, I'm, I like, I mean, I'm an emotional person. So just anything that will make me feel this person actually like thought about this thing. She gets, I'm that kind of person. Like if I want to give somebody, I should think, oh, this person like, which I don't give people because, based on what I like or what I want for them. I guess people based on what they want. So I would want that kind of thing to you know, someone to think and be like, Oh, she will love this, she will love this, she will love this, she will love this. Yeah, it's the thoughts that will really move me. So I don't know what I really want for my engagement. I just know that I want to be moved. But I don't want a public engagement to where like people I don't know is shouting, say yes, say it. Ah. Shall to say yes, say yes. But one thing I know, I would love my family to be there and like, you know, my very close friends. So anything that will move me and actually surprise me. I love surprises too. I love surprising people. And I love being surprised. So anything that will surprise me too. Yeah. So next question on my list is where I see myself in five years. In five years, I should be 30. I'm thinking of. I'm actually thinking of, you know, going back to school to study something else is a thought for now. But if you push through, in five years, I should be done. In less than five years, I should be done. So I'll probably be in another career path, but still under health, still under care. Yeah if what i'm thinking you know actually push through then i should obviously be married god i beg 
because I do just something about me wants to finish having kids before 30 please God please God please I should be married yes <laughs> and then in five years I should have gone to over like 20 30 40 countries I love traveling <laughs> I love traveling and I should be, be somewhat financially stable no, in five years, I should be very financially stable. What am I doing with my days? Yeah, in five years, I should, you know, have gone through school and studied what it is I want to go back and study. I should be married by God's grace with my children, my two children. God, I beg. God, I beg. <laughs> then, um, financially stable. I'm actually working towards financial stability to be financially stable i should have opened a business with my sister one of my dream like one of my dream is actually to own a business with my sister my younger sister like i would really love to own a business with my younger sister i don't know what it is but i want to own a business with my younger sister we tried we tried once and we were quite successful but the thing is the thing is i wasn't home for long that period you know my, my sister bakes she used to bake so i'm like when i came back to about to learn micro building i was not doing anything and i hit I hate being I, I hate not having money. So I told her, let's start. You have contacts. You can, you know, you can make um, burger buns while I do the burger, and then we will put cooking. Beside it, she started posting. She started posting. She made. We. She had to go online to browse how to make burger buns. That girl. <laughs> if you think I'm a hustler, you've not met my siblings. Anyway, um, she, you know, made the burger buns, and then. I stay making the burger. I stay making the burger. I can make, I can make all those fancy, fancy things. I stay making burger. We stay selling. We had to buy the packaging and all of that. And then she started posting photo. She started posting photo. We started selling out. We used to make spaghetti, burger, rice. I stay cooking and we stay selling. Days I'm not at home. She cooked. This is not. Um, I cook so that's that's it. Still now I say she's still cooking and all of that. Although she has scratched the burger because <laughs> it was too stressful. But you know she's still cooking and making money from it. And so I really love the dynamic of, you know, working with my younger sister. So if I feel I should have a business together with my baby. So next question is my love language. So there are like five love languages and I think five of them are my love languages because I love gift gifting. I love gift gift gifting and giving. I think for people I love, I actually show them like I love them by gifting them. She gets. Yeah, like I just run and it's like very randomly, your birthdays, stuff like that. You know, and I like since my since I lost my dad, like I celebrate every every little thing i'm never going to lie like i celebrate every little thing because my dad is my dad didn't know his birthday yeah my dad didn't know his birthday so we just used to celebrate my mom's birthday and he wasn't around he was like my dad was an abroad dad you know it's an abroad dad he was an abroad dad so the days the, the years he was with us he, he came back he didn't know his birthday so we just always used to give my mom for her birthdays then he got sick for a year plus and was in the hospital you get so i was telling him if he leaves the hospital we'll celebrate his birthday like i don't even care again to know the particular date we're going to celebrate this man's birthday then he didn't make it out of the hospital and in my head you, you would have just done this thing in the hospital you would have felt loved either way but since that time i have this mentality of celebrating everything because this life is one at the end of the day and and couple do this job i'm doing now you just see that like in, in most people's room you see pictures of their life like places they've gone to their family while in other people's room it's nothing like there's nothing pictures so i don't i want to like live my life and like leave an imprint like i want to live the struggles of life are there and real yes honestly to god Life is not that easy, but in the midst of the hardship, I want to be able to say I lived. Do you get? <laughs> so, I've derailed from the question. Sorry about that, guys. I talk a lot. 
Du kan schon nicht. Weil du auch nicht. So, I love, I love gift, 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 gift. People I love, I, I gift them. I love, so, I don't know if that should be the, at the top. I love gift, gift, gift. I love physical touch. <laughs> My siblings will beg to me. <laughs> But I love physical touch. I love words of affirmation. Like, I love words of affirmation. See, we are sure and so. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah, I love words of affirmation. Those can have a way of, you know, lifting your mood. What else? I love acts of service because if you love me, why are you not trying to lift my burden? If you love me, why are you not helping me? <laughs> if you love me, do you want me to die? Five of them. I think all of them. I love, that's all of them are my love language. All of them. <laughs> anyway, so that is it for this video. I don't know if I answered anything. These are just random things. Another thing I like about YouTube, I just used to come back and watch my videos when I'm very sad. Even when I'm sad, like I'm crying, I just used to come back and watch it because it reminds me that I'm living your life. You should be grateful for something, you know. So most of these questions I ask myself. I will just come and watch it when I'm sad again. When I'm sad again. So YouTube is like a, a documentary of my life. Yeah, like a documentary of my life. And I like it. I love it. I just, I like time stamps. I love it. I love taking pictures. I love something that is like on top of my list now is Sony. So she's not she's not Sony Z E. I be I I want to get a camera so bad. <laughs> I want to get a camera so bad. But it's well. We've come to the end of this video. <laughs> If there's any other thing you would you know want to know or like to know you could drop in the comment section we can do another question and answer session and you could please follow me on instagram i'll follow back anyway if you watch to the end don't forget to like share subscribe please 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 god bless you for me thanks for watching bye love you